Well, praise the name of the Lord. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Glory be to God. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Yarosidium Rosoto. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory be to God. Rasiti Andro Sotulalaha. on the timeline I promise you we will get to it put your prayer requests on the timeline
to Empowering Word Christian Center. I'm Pastor Alvin White, Senior Pastor of Empowering Word Christian Center and Transition Prophet. Listen, uh, welcome to Friday Morning Prayer and Prophetic Service. Today is June 28, 2024, and let's get ready to pray. Hallelujah. Just start praying on the Holy Ghost right now. Put your prayer request on the timeline. Listen, the word of God says, oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. says in Ephesians chapter 5 verse 6 he says let no one deceive you with empty words for because of these things the wrath of God comes upon the sons of disobedience Therefore, do not be partakers with them. Woo! The wrath of God is literally talking about the great tribulation. And I'm going to get them up. Hey, baby. Baby, Michael. Baby. God, our 130 plus pound great care needs, is having a good old time sleeping. He is not interested in moving <laughs> at this time. Glory be to God. And we don't have time to fight you. <laughs> Glory be to God. We'll get you next time. Uh, welcome to Empowering Word Christian Center. I'm Pastor Alvin White. And I'm Pastor Latoya. And we welcome you in the name of the Lord. Glory be to God. Now, we are on this series called The Antichrist Agenda. You've got to see this on YouTube. Go to Empowering Word Christian Center YouTube. Go to Empowering Word Christian Center YouTube. And what you'll find... Uh, let's do this here. What you'll find is that you'll see the series. We just did part 39. We just did part 39. Glory be to God. And you wanna you wanna get in this. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hey Rena. Come down just a little bit. Hallelujah. You wanna get in this. Praise God. Thank you so much, Rena. You want to get in this because we are teaching you the word of Almighty God. And he says this in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 6, let no one deceive you with empty words. Empty words. Now he's talking to the church. He is not talking to the world. He is not talking to the lost. He is talking to the church. Let no one deceive you with empty words. For because of these things. What things? Well, he just talked to you about the things in prior to that. Well, look at verse 1. Therefore, be imitators of God as clear children. Now, yes. yes. The book of Ephesians is to the church of Ephesus. And to the church of Ephesus, one of the things that the church of Ephesus was known for was aligning itself 
with political and cultural power yes. to gain control and to gain wealth and riches and to uh, be in a place of power. Yes. They look to themselves and they look to political leaders. Now, yes. and what caused them to leave their first love. Now, we see this in the book of Revelation where Jesus to the seven churches and the first church he addresses is the church of Ephesus and he says you have lost you have left your first love and look at where you have fallen yes. now watch this yes. watch this this is to the church you've got to get revelation of this look at verse 1 therefore be imitators of God as dear children and walk in love look at Paul the Apostle yes. telling the church of Ephesus, he's warning them, walk in love, yes. walk like God, walk in the spirit, walk like God, walk in love. Yes. That's what he keeps telling them. He keeps telling them this. And then Jesus comes along in the book of Revelation and says, you're done. You better get this right or you are going to be with the fallen. I'm yes. labeling you fallen. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Look at verse 2. As Christ also has loved us and given himself for us and offering a sacrifice to God for a sweet-smelling aroma. But fornicators, he's not talking to the world. Don't even look at it. Don't even look at the world. He's talking to the church. But fornicators in all uncleanness of covetousness let it not even be named among you as fitting for the saints. Mm. Neither filthiness, nor foolish talking, nor coarse jesting, which are not fitting, but rather giving up thanks. For this you know, that no fornicator, unclean person, nor covetous man, who is an idolater, has an inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and God. And he says this, glory be to God. He says, let no one deceive you with empty words. He's talking about church people deceiving you with empty words. He's not talking about worldly people. Let no one deceive you with empty words. Because of these things, the wrath of God comes upon the sons of disobedience. Therefore, do not be partakers with them. You yes. got to understand that the church of Ephesus, they were saying, hey, listen, we are going to take control of the culture. We are going to take control of the political realm. And we are going to be in power. And we are going to have ourselves served yes. with money and power and greed. Yes. And, and he's saying, listen, all of this is idolatry. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Oh boy, you need to understand what's going on. The seven churches was seven profile, prophetic profiles of the last day's church. Mm -hmm. And Ephesus is the falling away. Those that meet the criteria of Ephesus is the falling away. You need to understand that. That's why he tells them later on, and we have we have preached this and talked about this. Finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord and the wow. power of his might. Wow. Not strong in yourself. That what's what's the opposite of that? Be strong in the Lord. Not strong in yourself. Not strong in your 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 power, your yes. own power. Yes. Be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Put on the whole, that's why he's telling Ephesus, you got to put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil, uh, 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 against the wiles of the devil, for we do not wrestle against flesh and blood. He's saying we're not wrestling against these political powers mm -hmm. because they were focused on the political. We're not wrestling against these political powers. We're wrestling against uh, uh, principalities, powers, rulers of darkness, spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day. Yes, and yes, having done all the sand, stand, stand therefore. So he talks about the armor of God yes. in this part right here. 
praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, being watchful to the end. He's talking about the end times to the church of Ephesus. But he knows that they're not going to be here during the Jesus end. Yeah. But he's saying you need to be thinking about that. It's wow. a warning to today's body of Christ. Yep. Oh my gosh. Yep, yep, yep. Oh my gosh. I have never seen this like I've seen it before now that we're preaching the series, The Antichrist Agenda. Yep. Father, right now in the name of Jesus, we give you praise and we magnify you, we yes. glorify you. Yes. And Father, we exalt your holy name. Yes. We submit ourselves to, submit you. to you. We submit to you, God. Yes. We, we submit to your word. Yes. Lord God, we submit to, God submit to God and resist the devil and the devil has to flee right now in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we yield ourselves to you. We yield our hearts to you. We yes. yield our minds to you. Yes. We yield our ears to you, our eyes to you, our yes. mouth, our hands and feet belong to you. Our bodies are the temple of yes, God. Lord. Everything belongs to you. Our money belongs to yes, you. Lord. Our possessions belong to yes, you. Lord. Lord God, all of our family, we declare that they belong, belong to you. To we you. call them into the kingdom. Yes. We call in our loved ones, our yes, brothers Lord. and our sisters and our, yes, our, 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 our nieces and nephews and uncles and, and aunties and, 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 and parents and grandparents. And we call in our children, Lord God. Small and, and teenage and adult children, we call them into the kingdom. Father, in the name of Jesus, salvation belongs to our God. And we declare that over our family. Father, we declare, I declare soul winners. Soul winner over your people. Soul winner right now. In the name of Jesus. Soul winner, soul winner, soul winner. We will open our minds. We will say what you want us to say. Yes. We will do what you call us to do. We will be the mouthpiece yes. of the gospel of Jesus Christ. We will be conduits. Lord God, we will say it. Yes, we will Lord. prophesy. We yes, will declare it. Lord God, we'll pray it. Bless we'll be intercessors yes. on fire for you. Yes, Lord, Lord God, we declare that when we pray, we pray in faith. Lord God, we believe and receive. We declare in the name of Jesus. We declare your word. We declare Father's salvation. We declare that we're soul winners. Yes. We declare that we're kingdom minded. Yes. We declare that we're heavenly minded. Yes. We declare that we're submitted to you. Yes, we declare Lord. that we're committed to you. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. We give you all the praise. All the we praise. give you all the glory. Yes, Father. That our hearts belong to you. In the name of Jesus. Jesus that our name. hearts woo, yes, belong to you. In the name of Jesus. Honey, I want you to pray health and healing over God's people right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, in the thank name you, of Jesus. Jesus, we thank you, Heavenly Father, for your word as yes. your covenant children, Father. We embrace your word, Lord, yes. and we hang on to it, thank and you. we hold fast to our confession of faith yes. for healing without wavering, Lord, because we know that you are faithful and your word will not return void. Lord, so we thank you, Father that we are healed in our bodies yes. and in our souls. Yes. Jesus was wounded for our transgressions. Lord he was God. bruised for our iniquities. Yes. And the chastisement for our peace was upon him. Mm -hmm. And by his stripes, we were healed. Yes. Father, we only embrace the blessing. Yes. No matter what, we speak the word of God. No matter what, mm -hmm. the word is our anchor, Father. We will not move from that no matter yes. what. So in the name of Jesus, we submit to you, Lord. We Lord resist God. the devil. And he has to flee. Lord, and we thank you, Heavenly Father, that any sickness, disease, or infirmity has to leave our body. Yes. We live longer. We live strong. We thank you, Father, that every organ, cell, muscle, mm. tissue, and fiber mm. in our bodies is strong, life-sustaining, and disease-free by the stripes of Jesus Christ. And we thank you, Father, that our organs sustain life and life more abundantly in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Father, right now in the name of Jesus, we come against every spirit of darkness off our life. 
our homes, our spouses, our children, yes, yes. every spirit of darkness, every yes. spirit of depression, yes. all anxiety, all yes. spirits of fear. Yes. Lord God, you have not given your people a spirit of fear, yes. but of power and love and a sound mind. Yes. Father, we declare right now in the name of Jesus that yes. we are set free. Whom the Son is set free is free indeed. Yes. We're free from depression. Yes, We're free Lord. from every single spirit, yes, every bondage, yes, every bondage of sin, every yes, addiction, yes, alcoholism, yes. cigarettes, sexual perversion, pornography, whatever it is. Lord God, we give you praise that Praise we are Lord. free right now in right the name now. of Jesus. We right give you now. praise, Lord God, negative thinking yes, of Father. every stronghold, every generational yes, Lord. curse. Yes, Lord, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, yes, every Jesus. habit, every idea, every Hallelujah. concept, Hallelujah. every Hallelujah. mindset, Hallelujah. In, the Jesus, in the name of Jesus, every spirit of pride and haughtiness, Lord God, broken right now in the name of Jesus, every spirit. Lord God of distorted vision. Oh, yes, we break that right now. Every spirit of distorted hearing. Yes, Lord God, yes, in the name Lord. of Jesus. Every spirit of deception. Yes, we break that right now right of now. your people in the, in the name of Jesus. Every spirit that's opened the door to listen to people that they ain't got no business Come listening on. to. Father, we, do, we break that right now in right the now. name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Oh, Yambarasata. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes. Glory, glory, glory. Yes. Hallelujah. Welcome to Empowering Word Christian Center. I'm Pastor Alvin White. I'm Pastor Latoya. We welcome you. We're going further into the series, The Antichrist Agenda. This Sunday, this Sunday is a, uh, um, uh, a Sunday best dress Sunday. Come to the house of God. You don't, you can get to anywhere else. Make sure you get into the house of God. If you're out of the area, make sure that you tune in. Um, uh, good morning, uh, Elijah, Minister Elijah Braddock, Prophetess Alyssa Braddock, Prophetess Erica Tucker, Elders Levi Dawn Jones, our friend Clyde Branch. God bless you. We love you, sir. And uh, uh, Patricia Taylor, God bless you. Elder Rochelle, God bless you. We love you. Pamela Marshall, all the way in Freeport, God bless you. Pastor Robert Carr, Elder Tracy Carr, right now, Father, we thank you for protection over them yes. and their family yes. as they travel, yes, they travel on vacation. Yes. Lord God, plane, train, automobile, taxi, yes. Uber, however they travel, we thank you that you get them there safely. Yes. We thank you that you refresh them. We thank you that you pour into them, you bless them. We thank you, Lord God, for your grace over them. We thank you, Father, Lord God, for the whole family enjoying the trip. Yes. And Lord God, you get them back safely, restored, yes. healthy, and whole. Keep them from all sickness and disease and infirmity. Yes. We give you all the praise for yes. them. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Uh, hello, our Princess Rena Javad. Mary Bowden, God bless you. Uh, we see you. Glory be to God. Servants for life, Craig and Shonina, God bless you. Yes. Uh, honey, pray over the business owners, um, uh, uh, entrepreneurs. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, for your people, Lord, that are business owners. Father, I thank you, thank Lord, you, for divine direction and connections of favor. Yes. I thank you, Father, for the blessing operating in their business, Father, in their mind for them to make righteous decisions, Woo! righteous connections thank in you, Jesus, Jesus' name. We thank you, Father, for windfalls of blessing, mm. windfalls of connections right now, creative ideas and witty inventions. Yes. I thank you, Lord, for the spirit of excellence, Father, and that we walk in the spirit. We walk in the fruit of the spirit. Spirit, Father, yes. so that when people see us, Father, they see kingdom ambassadors, Father, representing the integrity of God in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Father, right now, over all the singles, we declare, Lord God, they love you and their love for you grows even stronger. Yes, we Lord. declare over the singles right now in the name of Jesus, we pray that you would keep them from all deception, yes. keep them from all people that want to be serpents, keep yes, them from yes, bad relationships, yes, Lord. Lord God. Give them direction, divine direction. Hallelujah. Let them establish relationships yes, that are healthy. Jesus. Heal them from every uh, uh, toxic relationship yes, of the Lord. past. Yes. Every relationship they're still hanging on to. Yes. Lord God, they know that they ain't got no business being a part yes. of. Let them submit it to you. Submit let them you. Uh, let it go right let now. Go. In the name of Jesus, name we of Jesus. declare, Lord God, yes. strength, strength over singles. We declare.
in the name of Jesus, your grace over them, your yes. power of them, your anointing over them, discernment over them. We declare strong marriages right yes, now Lord. over the husbands and the wives. Yes, strong Lord. marriages. They're strong in you. They're strong together. Lord God, in the name of Jesus, we come against every spirit of strife and division. Yes. We come against every spirit, Lord God, that would try to lure them away from their relationship with you. Father, because we know that when we're in alignment with you, we're in alignment together. In the name of Jesus, we bless you. We praise you for that. In Jesus' name, good morning. Uh, Rose Hines, we see you. Uh, Prophetess Carolyn Moss, Dwight Moss, God bless you guys. We see you. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, now, there was, uh, we saw, there was a freight train, um, uh, there was a freight train that derailed in Illinois, and residents are being evacuated due to a hazmat situation. And this is just within the last 24 hours. Lord God, your grace over that situation. Yes. This is in Madison, Mat Mattison, or Mattison, um, M-A-T-T-E-S-O-N, uh, Illinois. And um, Lord God, your grace, keep the people safe. Yes. Keep the people safe. Yes, Lord. Lord God, keep the animals safe. Yes, Lord. Let the team go in and do what they need to do yes, Lord. with no further development yes, Lord. in the name of Jesus. Jesus name. Uh, Sermons for Life says, please pray for Ronald Cochran Jr. He's been hospitalized with kidney issues. Lord God, your grace over this person. Yes. We don't know him, but you do. Yes. And Father, we pray, Lord God, that you would visit him, touch him, minister to him. Yes. Lord God, in the name of Jesus, we pray, Lord God. We come against all sickness and disease. Let them know who you are. Yes. Let the doctors have wisdom. The nurses have wisdom. Let all yes. the procedures and medicine do yes. well with no yes. negative side effects. Yes. Your grace be upon him. Yes. Health and healing be upon yes. this Ronald Cochran Jr. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Yaya Mrosoto. Lahai Um, There was a earthquake in Peru. There was a Peru earthquake. I know that I uh, prophesied mm -hmm. about Peru mm -hmm. um, not too long ago. Can you can you look it up? I know that I prophesied about Peru. There was a seven point two earthquake, and there is a um, yes. And then this is in southern Peru, uh, April 5th, um, it says, keep your eyes on Peru within the next 90 days. <laughs> within the next 90 days, that was April 5th, May, June, well, we're definitely within those 90 days. Mm -hmm. And so be praying over Peru. Father, your grace over Peru. Yes. Right now. In the name of Jesus, your grace over Peru. Father, peace over Peru. Yes. Protect the people. One says fears of 10 foot waves as powerful earthquake hits Peru. Um, tsunami. So, Lord God, let your grace be upon Peru right now in the name of Jesus. Father, your, your supernatural exponential increase over your people right yes. now uh, when it comes to finances. Lord God, grace over finances. Father, we thank you for money coming. Thank you. Those Father. that give and that are obedient to you, that love you, they yes, give Lord. your grace over them right now. Right Supernatural, now. exponential increase over them. Money cometh, new ideas, witty inventions. Lord God, give them favor.
favor, favor, favor right now in yes. the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hey, Rena, you can stop that. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Now, you want to join us this Sunday. Um, hallelujah. Hallelujah. You want to join us this Sunday. Continue to be praying for people that are um, uh, in this uh, tornado areas and ravaged by tornadoes. Um, be, continue to be praying over that. Um, we see several homes damaged after tornado touched down in Melbourne. I think this is in Florida. Mm -hmm. It looks like the Orlando area. Um, so continue to be praying for that. Even this today, it appears that there's, um, uh, you know, threats of uh, large hail, mm -hmm. damaging winds in the Midwest and Plains area so um be praying about that lord god your grace over people um in these areas your grace over these areas when it comes to weather glory be to god hallelujah hallelujah in the name of jesus now Here's what you need to understand about the Antichrist agenda. First, you got to renew your mind. Make sure you're renewing your mind. But here's what you need to know about the Antichrist agenda. Uh, the Antichrist agenda is within mm -hmm. God's prophetic agenda. Mm -hmm. See, Satan can't do anything that God doesn't allow. Mm -hmm. So everything that the Antichrist agenda is all about and is doing, it's already been prophesied. It's already been foretold. It's already been seen. And it's within God's prophetic agenda. You cannot stop or delay God's prophetic agenda. Mm -hmm. give, me a, give me an example. Jesus going to the cross. Nobody can stop that. Jesus going to the cross, rising from the dead. No one, no one can stop that. Mm -hmm. So you need to understand that this... What we're preaching and teaching, it will happen. Mm -hmm. It will happen because we're preaching it right out the word of God. You need to check out the Antichrist agenda right there on YouTube. We will see you Sunday. Bring somebody to the house of God. We love you with the love of the Lord. God bless you. Love and share this. Love and Amen. share this. Love and share this. Send this out. Love and share this. Put it on your page. Put it in the group. Put it on your timeline. We love you with the love of the Lord. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.